art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love and I'll no longer be a Capulet. <laughs> shall I give more or shall I speak yet this? Tis but my name that is thy enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. What's a Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which would be called a rose by any other word would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo, doth thy name, and for thy name, which is no part of thee, take all just seen some scenes from a production of Romeo and Juliet with a twist. I'm here with director Anne Berger and actress Ivy Chatelaine. And first of all, can you tell me a little bit about this production of Romeo and Juliet? What makes it special? Well, it's an all Aboriginal youth cast and one um, old, well, not older, but <laughs> um, uh, a, a mentoring artist, uh, also Aboriginal, uh, Tracy Nipanak, who is playing Friar Lawrence. And she's taking this elder position because there's these strong relationships in this play as in, in our Aboriginal community between spiritual elders and youth. And uh, so she is the mentoring artist and also, in a way, the spiritual elder for this youth cast, so we're really pleased. It's a very special show because these youth have connected with the themes of this play in a way that I think um, many other youth might not um, because it's a, it's a community with an unusually high amount of tragedy. So they have first-hand experience of losing friends to violence, of um, suicide, of family pressures, um, which are all which are all themes of the play, right? That's but right. people don't necessarily think about how those relate to real life. I can imagine. Yeah, and they bring this to their their performances, so they really tell the story of this play in a strong way. And we're doing it in a traditional setting. So we see that strong relationship with a play that was written 400, over 400 years ago. And we're using Shakespeare's text to right here and now in the north end of Winnipeg. <laughs> my name, dear saint, is hateful to myself because it's an enemy to thee. Had I written, I would tear the word. Ivy, uh, you are one of two Juliets in the play, but when you're not playing Juliet, you have three other roles to play. Can you talk about juggling all of those roles and memorizing all of those lines? How's that been for you? Um, memorizing is actually fairly easy for me. I've been acting since I was quite young. Um, I don't know, it's not that, it's fun to be in it even when you're not Juliet. It's good to see other people's views and it doesn't matter really what part we are, we're still kind of related to Romeo yeah. some way, except for the page of course, but still. And can you talk about, I guess, uh, how how difficult is it to bring your sort of your own take to such a, a classic role that's been played so many times? Well, I think that no matter how many times we're actually going to do this, this amazing, brilliant production, it's always going to be timeless, so you just got to do your best and kind of be prepared. And it helps if you have experience, but we do have at least a few people that never had experience and they're quite well, and Anne cast this really, really well too. Oh, gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. Lady, by yonder blessed moon, I vow that tips with silver all these fruit trees. Torn up by the moon, the constant moon that monthly changes in our circular door. Lest that thy love prove likewise variable. And let's talk about the fact that the play is free to attend. Can you explain, uh, first talk about that and explain why that is the case, why, why that choice was made? We feel very strongly about it. This uh, Aboriginal Arts Training and Mentorship Program is a free empowerment through the arts program that was pioneered um, by Columpa Bob, and she's our program director. The whole idea is, is empowerment through the arts. It is free access access to all Aboriginal youth and we wanted to make sure that this play is free for um, the whole community that no one um, especially a community that has been marginalized economically as well as socially um, we do not want to exclude anyone so it is free and we're hoping that the whole community will come because I think it's very important for the non-Aboriginal community to come and see 
Aboriginal youth in a very different uh, light from the usual stereotypes. That's great. Ivy, uh, tell our viewers why they should come and see the play. What What is special about it? What Just give them the, the bottom line pitch. <laughs> I think that they should come see it because, um, well, it's free. It's a really good way of time and it's really good with history and stuff and it's just an amazing thing like everybody's put so much effort into this and time and it's actually very 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 well done so that's awesome all. <laughs> and finally Anne, can you tell our viewers uh, where to go for more information and when the play uh, is, is running yes we uh, the public openings are um, it's on Saturday, and that's the 2nd of June. But we also have a school performance that is also open to the public tomorrow. Um, that's Friday, the 1st of June at 12 noon. And uh, the public performance Saturday at 7 o'clock. And then our final show is Sunday at 3 o'clock here at MTYP in our wonderful theater at the Forks. And we have live music. We have uh, two wonderful uh, musicians from Los Angeles who are uh, donating their time and expertise um, in early music to do period music. We have period dancing that the actors are doing and um, amazing sword fights. <laughs> Whoa, with real rapiers with a choreographed by Robert Borges, who I think is just one of the hottest fight choreographers uh, around. Well, there you have it. If you didn't, if you weren't convinced before sword fights, then you must be now. And if you have anything better to do during those times, just cancel it because it's not better. You should come check this out. And Ivy, thank you so much for talking with us today. Can we get a big high five and a good oh, luck? Yes. <laughs> awesome. Best of luck with the production. <laughs> for Shaw TV, I'm Jay Williams.